Hello everyone and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. I want you to remember in September of 2023, Benjamin Netanyahu spoke at the United Nations. At that time, he shared his plans. I want you to watch this and then I want you to listen to the end. Because it's at the end where you'll find where your Secretary of State was this morning and what it was that he discussed with the Cyprus government. Let's take a look back at September of 2023. Two weeks ago, we saw another blessing already in sight. In the G20 conference, President Biden, Prime Minister Modi, and European and Arab leaders announced plans for a visionary corridor that will stretch across the Arabian Peninsula and Israel. It will connect India to Europe with maritime links, rail links, energy pipelines, fiber optic cables. This corridor will bypass maritime checkpoints, or choke points rather, and dramatically lower the cost of goods, communication, and energy for over two billion people. What a historic change for my country. You see, the land of Israel is situated in the crossroad between Africa, Asia, and Europe. And for centuries, for centuries, my country was repeatedly invaded by empires passing through it in their campaigns of plunder and conquest elsewhere. But today, today, as we tear down the walls of enmity, Israel can become a bridge of peace and prosperity between these continents. Peace between Israel and Saudi Arabia will truly create a new Middle East. To understand the magnitude of the transformation that we seek to advance, let me show you a map of the Middle East in 1948, the year Israel was established. Here's Israel in 1948. It's a tiny country, isolated, surrounded by a hostile Arab world. In our first 70 years, we made peace with Egypt and Jordan. And then in 2020, <clears throat> we made the Abraham Accords peace with another four Arab states. Now look at what happens when we make peace between Saudi Arabia and Israel. The whole Middle East changes. We tear down the walls of enmity. We bring the possibility of prosperity and peace to this entire region. But we do something else. You know, uh, a few years ago, I stood here with a red marker to show the, the curse, a great curse, the curse of a nuclear Iran. But today, today I bring this marker to show a great blessing, the blessing of a new Middle East between Israel, Saudi Arabia, and our other neighbors. The U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken made an unannounced visit to Cyprus this morning. The Cypriot officials have said that during Antony Blinken's brief stopover in Lanarka, the U.S. Secretary of State discussed the Cypriot proposal to establish a maritime aid corridor to Gaza. The U.S. Secretary of State met with the Cypriot President Nikos Christodoulidis during the unannounced trip. The Cypriot government spokesperson states that during the meeting, there was a discussion on unfolding developments in the Middle East, as well as on Cyprus's proposal for a dedicated one-way maritime corridor of a sustained flow of humanitarian aid from Cyprus to civilians in Gaza. Earlier on Sunday, Cypriot president said how aid could be delivered was still being worked out, saying, quote, ships cannot approach the sea area off Gaza, so we're talking to the United Nations, which will handle the aid and not Hamas, Christo Delitis told reporters. For Headlines with a Voice, this has been the Lockhart News Brief.